Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Here's your daily stimulus check and second stimulus check and stimulus package update for Saturday, July 11, 2020. Happy Sunday to you. It's 111 degrees here. My air conditioner blew up and there was smoke everywhere. Literally sounded like a bomb went off and uh, was pretty crazy. Um, in addition to more explosions, Pelosi and McConnell fight it out over the stimulus amount. How much are we talking about? What's Nancy and Mitch's net worth? And what, what's their job security? How much do they make? And, uh, you know, what's their financial position? What did the House and Senate think they have to hammer? When are they going to hammer it out? Right? That's what we all want to know. Is the HEROES Act dead? Is it dead? I'm going to talk about that. And what's the proposed formula of the second stimulus check? Why are we... You know, we had a formula with the first one, which I'll talk about. Well, they're talking about one with this. And the extension of the unemployment benefits. Also, I wanted to take a little time to summarize some of the things on the table from videos from this week and what's been on the table. If you like the idea of summarizing on a Saturday everything for the week, give me a comment. Say, yeah, summary is good. Please like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Just press the, the gray till it turns blue. It loves to be pressed. The next couple of weeks, information is going to be flowing a lot faster. We have 20 days that we have to get something done, agreed upon, signed, and started. Find out more after this. Hey, welcome back. If this is your first time, Welcome. On this channel, we've, we plan, our goal is to give you the latest and greatest information on how to master your money. So stay tuned to the channel if you care about saving your money, making money, making more money, or just managing the money you have a little better. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you receive the latest updates, and don't forget to grab your two free stocks with Webull down below. There's a link down below. Hit it. You can get two free stocks, one valued up to $1,400. You can liquidate them. You don't have to keep them. If you don't want them, you don't even have to buy stocks. On the topic of the second stimulus check, targeting is now the topic, not the question of if, but who and when. Who meaning how much you make, not individually or anything like that. Although they're including more people uh, that were excluded from the first check, that they're amending and changing a lot of that, even with the first CARES Act, to try and get people that didn't get funds, funds. Now that we've reopened and it looks like we're going from a V, wait, 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 no, a W, we hope, uh, maybe an L, the recovery is not looking good. We're looking like we're gonna end up with either a W, meaning we're gonna go up, we spiked up, and we're going down again. We've lost a lot of our value that's retreated, and um, it, we either come up again or we end up in an L, which if you look at Japan, Japan did end up in an L for a very long time. Senate Republicans want to cut back the stimulus amount by targeting people, not actually, and that's been the focus. Maybe we don't want to blow our full load of cash in a stimulus check like we did in the first one and do another one and then we don't have the ability to keep doing the stimuluses if they're needed. You know, there could be many more stimuluses to come, you know, so you've got to manage fiscal responsibility. That's how the Senate's looking at it. That's how a lot of Republicans that are concerned about the budgets are thinking about it. And what's it mean to be fiscally responsible? We hear it come up, but we don't really think about it. The government and institutions, fiscal responsibility describes the ability to balance between, you know, government spending and taxation, right? Because they spend and then they got to go collect the money from us. In fact, like in a few days, like in four days, the IRS will collect about a trillion dollars in taxes. Yes. The IRS will be getting about a trillion dollars in tax revenue because they have not extended that July 15th deadline. So they'll be making in just four days a nice fat trillion dollars that they'll be collecting from all of us. And to finish off the definition of fiscal responsibility, quote, in fact, 
it would define the obligation of the state to maximize income by using their spending powers while also ensuring that inflation does not spiral up. Imagine Zimbabwe, Venezuela, where they printed so much money that they lost control of the money and it inflated it to where it was worthless. If you look, I carry with me, I'm a tr $50 trillion in my wallet at all times. It's to remind me that Zimbabwe, which used to be dollar for dollar, had a 1.1 billion inflationary rate, third quarter 2008. Look it up, it's crazy. Stimulus check number 24. That's what, the, that's what they've got to think about. We have no clue. We're in uncharted water here. We could end up with 24 different stimulus check packages. And this could go on for a long time. So I do understand their fiscal responsibility about how they roll it out. Although Pelosi is fighting McConnell over this cap of $40,000 and she wants to lift it, saying that people making over $40,000 will need assistance too. Of course, we all do at this point. They're arguing over their outfit while they're exiting the ship that's sinking. Hello? Like, oh, should I wear this color? What do you think? I mean, when they see me, I, does it match the lifeboat color that's uh, orange? Does this go good with orange? What do you think? I, it's like wild watching the, the ship sink and they passed the bill in the house almost two months ago over the HEROES Act and we're still waiting around. McConnell, he got a report, and that's what he's been leaning on by the feds released back in May that he's been heavily counting on that supported this idea that $40,000 were the area that was hit the hardest um, people that make less than $40,000. So his targeting is targeting trying to find the hardest hit and attacking those areas. He quoted uh, in, in a quote from him, he we, as far as what his major concerns are, what his talking points are, is that we got to get kids back to school, that they're our future, that the, this virus relief would focus on, again, jobs, health care, and liability protection. So pretty simple. I mean, he seems to be very targeted on what he's going to do. And this study back in March and April, those numbers showed that you know, people that earned 40000 um, and less actually saw the hardest hit. So, you know, we won't, we probably won't see, also at the same time, there, there's pushback on the fact that Mnuchin doesn't have the actual technology to be able to scale back. I mean, they barely figured out the first one, and they still sent checks to dead people. So, you know, um, if they follow the same pattern as before but work out the kinks, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. The first check was cut off at 75,000 for single filers, um, 112,500 for head of household, 150,000 for married filers, and then we have formulas to calculate the amounts that stepped down and people made different ranges depended on it. And I'll put a link down below that actually shows the graphic about who got paid what. In fact, I'll show you on the screen here. I'll do a little screenshot so you see it. See? Yeah, here it is. So. Um, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said in that they will pass something by July 31st um, at the very last minute, it seems, for the unemployment benefits. That's Mnuchin's side. There's really three players, four players here, right? We have Mnuchin, which is part of the Treasury. We have McConnell, which is, you know, part of the Senate majority leader. We have Pelosi, which is the House, which those are the controlling bodies. And those two, and then we have the president, which basically just signs the bill and influences like, hey, guys, get it together. Hopefully you can rally them and get them to do something. They were talking that, about having this done before July 20th, which is when they come back from vacation. And then they're in for a few weeks, and then they're gone for another four-week vacation. Unbelievable. Um, July 31st, the benefits stop. But really, you can't even file the benefits at like the last date to actually file, at least in our state, is like the 26th. So we're missing five days because of how the filing even happens. The only stimulus that would still be pumping money into the economy through July 31st, after that deadline, the only money that would be impacting the economy would be those PPP funds, which if you haven't gotten it yet, look at my videos, make sure you get your PPP loan if you haven't gotten one, because it can be forgivable. You can use it for payroll and for expenses. It's absolutely amazing. Um, that goes through the banks. 
and that deadline goes all the way through to August 8th. And the Main Street lending platform from the Fed will also be pumping money into, you know, helping companies stay alive and get their debt restructured. So those will be the only things still filtering in through the economy and not to everybody. So we do have a cash cliff coming. Well, with Mitch and Nance, you know, they're like a stubborn married couple, you know, together. They've been together now for 33 years. Yes, 33 years. And their love language must be fighting because they love to fight, right? Remember that book on the whatever five love languages, you know, their love language. I mean, can you imagine how much time they've spent together at this point? Maybe more than their own relationships when you think about it. Mitch is 78 years young and has been in the Senate since 1984. Talk about job security. That is job security. Never missed a paycheck in 36 years. And his net worth, get this, $22.5 million. Nancy, at 80 years old, young, or 80 years young, uh, assumed office in 1987. That's 33 years ago. If you do the math, right? 33 years ago. And she's been in Congress. Her net worth is, get this, $120 million. Hmm. Nancy and Mitch have been working in Congress now 20, 33 years. That's long. That's longer than most marriages. When they leave, when they're gone, if they leave the Senate, right, they get 80% of their salary in retirement. They currently get $193,400 now. They would leave, they'd still get $154,720 for life. You know, Kelly uh, Laffler, from, he's a Republican from Georgia, his net worth is $500 million. So what's the point? These people, they still get paid no matter what, even though they don't even need the money. McConnell, Pelosi, and Trump, they've never experienced the idea of not being able to make a home payment or being caught up in the disaster of 2008 or having to raise your credit card limits and max all of them out, which I've been in the situation where I was on my last, last credit card while I'm trying to turn the corner with all the balances to the max. They've never had the situation where they've lost a job or missed a house payment. How can they really relate with us? Or never had a single setback for 33 years that they've been making money and taking all these vacations and being spoiled. It's an amazing, unbelievable job. You know, when we're scared on Main Street, scared in the job market, they need to get it together and lead. And I don't know how they see it from their perspective, but they need to really understand what we're going through because they can only think about this from the perspective of thought. That's about it. Normally, we want to depend on government for less. We want them to do less. We don't want these guys in our lives. But right now, we don't have a choice. With a global virus health issue, all the normal fiscal responsibility is out the window. This is a new day. This is the new normal. There are new rules. We need to unwrite the rules that are there because fiscal responsibility was based on the idea that we didn't have to wear masks and stay away from people. We can't hold on to the illusion. If this is real or not, the results remain exactly the same, guys. So, you know, we need to actually pass some bills that are going to help people because we're all sitting around watching. We're not eating popcorn like a good movie. This is a horror film. The House and the representative views, they look at a trillion dollars. They're like, okay, this is what Nancy's saying. That's an interesting starting point, but it doesn't come anywhere near. No, a trillion dollars probably at this point does not come near it. She said that Thursday a few days ago. We need a trillion dollars for state. This is what she's saying. Local assistance. We need another trillion for unemployment insurance and direct payments. And we need something like that, but probably not as much for testing, tracing, and treatment is what Pelosi's saying. So she's actually pulling back a little bit on testing, which is wild because... Uh, just a few days ago. Now McConnell is saying we need more testing and we need to make it more available. So they're on, not on the same page on that. What does, what does this measure up to? Well, a trillion dollars, three trillion dollars is probably the number. So what's the Senate's view? Their timing, smaller package, maybe no money at all. That, that's literally what they said. And they said, I'll be unveiling something which will be start, uh, starting place in a few weeks. That's what Mitch said. Mitch McConnell's like, yeah, we'll get to it in a few weeks. That was like on July 6th. 
about that new stimulus package and a new payment for individuals and families could well be part of it is also what he's saying. Pretty vague. Good news about the timing, though, is that they didn't vote on it when they got the jobs report that I was afraid would be good because I definitely thought that jobs report would go the other way. Well, with the new outbreaks in California, Florida, and Texas, which we've heard a lot of people in the comments down below, thank you so much for commenting about the shutdown in California and Florida. I have lots of people in California and Florida, lots of people who watch the channel. And here in Nevada last night, they shut down all the bars, midnight, finito. So you can't go to a bar now in Nevada. Imagine that. And the largest state in the U.S. by GDP is California, which has 2.97 trillion. That's the size of their economy. That makes California not only comparable to Britain, whose GDP came in at 2.81 trillion, but would also make California the fifth largest economy in the world if it was its own four nation. And what's the bottom line of the Senate? Basically, a trillion dollars. California, with its shutting down, represents like what, 10%? More than 10% of our entire GDP is just California. The bottom line for the Senate, McConnell, he wants to cap it at a trillion dollars. That's hopeful, that's wishful thinking. If you're not completely in fantasy land, we'll have a collapse. Bankruptcies, small business, personal, and cities and states will all be BKing. They're all gonna bankrupt if you don't get funds to them, especially when you're shutting down you know, there's revenue from those bars that will not be going to the states. How much money would the second stimulus check be? A lot of people have asked. Well, Washington leaders are talking about these possible stimulus figures. Congress is really focused on a stimulus efforts that include tax breaks for businesses as a way of boosting the job numbers. They're trying to figure out how do we make it so that we can push the economy back into shape. A $1,200 maximum single payment for individuals was proposed in the HEROES Act, and it was passed by the House. So that no number's already there, and it, at least we know that half of the party will go along with that. More money for individuals than the HEROES Act proposed, as referenced by President Trump on July 1st. He said, hey, we want more money. We, we need more money. It's going to be huge. A $2,000 a month payment through the end of the pandemic for three months and then three months after was proposed by Senate Kamala Harris, right? You remember that. A 2000 a month for up to 12 months was proposed by Representative um, Ro Khanna. A $4,000 temporary ta travel tax credit was proposed by the U.S. Travel Association after Trump embraced the idea in May. Senate Martha... McSally took the idea further and proposed a bill that would give couples an $8,000 tax credit to cover travel expenses plus $500 for each qualifying child so they bring their kids with them instead of leaving them at home, right, to just hang out. A payroll tax cut proposed by Vice President uh, Mike Pence and also the White House officials that would allow workers to keep more of their paycheck the HEROES Act is still on the table at the Senate, and much of the items in that bill will be used uh, in the next draft of another bill, because guess what? Mitch McConnell is set to release a bill shortly. We have all been waiting for the Senate. It's getting embarrassing for Republicans at this point. They're like, really, guys? Come on, get it together. The House and the, the Dems seem to be willing to pass whatever. Maybe before it wasn't fiscal responsible, but guess what? I think it is now. And finally, the unemployment extension. Talks are currently going on at the House and the Senate over the tiered approach of the unemployment, the, you know, the compensation that you'll receive. They're afraid. They don't want to go to where people are getting 200% of what they were getting paid before. Uh, the fact is Americans are they're actually using that money to save and buy stocks, right? Like Robin Hood's gone crazy and Weeble. Um, with people buying stocks with their money. So when 70% of your GDP comes from people, consumer spending, we need people to actually spend this money that we're putting in the economy. That's why it's called stimulus. It's supposed to stimulate the economy. 
and it's not doing that. So if we hoard the money and don't use it, and of course we're gonna hoard it, we're scared. If you got money and you spent it, and you didn't know if more money was coming and you might have a job, is that responsible? That's not fiscal responsible either. So in order to get spending going, we've got to give some comfort to all of us, right? Don't you think? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Remember, like, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have, um, what do you think the stimulus check should be? Type in the amount in the comments down below of what you think the stimulus check should be and how long it should go. So it'd be like $1,200 for six months or $2,000 for six months. Maybe, maybe one of our politicians will get that and it'll get shared over to them. Take care. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Love you.